let us study the various energy losses in a transformer first one is core loss or ion loss okay so now we saw this is a transformer and this is the core of the transformer okay and uh, what happens a magnetic field okay will go pass inside this thing okay the prime will produce a magnetic field okay and due to hysteresis okay what happens eddy currents are produced there okay and there are eddy current losses are produced okay this can be minimized by using silicon steel okay we can use type of steel using silicon steel and we can make the transformer other one is you can make thin lamination that means instead of having one thick core we can have a lot of number of cores here let's say or many thin laminations okay so this is a core means okay so we can have very thin laminations like this so we learned that earlier thin laminations will reduce the eddy currents okay that's the first one second one copper loss see the wires have electrical resistance okay so this wire will have smelted resistance and due to joules of heating okay there will be lot of uh, wastage of energy okay so joule heating takes place it can be minimized by using thick wires so if you use thick wires there the primary and the secondary we can reduce the copper loss okay next one flux leakage okay so flux leakage means what okay the magnetic field lines are not completely linked okay so the magnetic fields from first one will not go entirely into second one it may go to air also it may escape okay so it can be minimized by winding coils one of the other okay so what happens in some transforms you can see okay there's a type of transformers okay so there will be coil here first primary coil and over the primary coil you have the secondary coil okay so in this way we can reduce the flux leakage so this is another type of transformer okay so these are the various energy loss in a transformer